comedy hour. It's my birthday and we're celebrating. We even have cocktail tables back there. Woo! I mean, this is a real comedy club I got going on here. We're celebrating with our Tam fam, and today we're sharing some laughs with the comedians you know and love and meeting new rising stars who are living their wildest dreams, including Zarna Garg, who is now back with us. Zarna calls herself the funny brown mom. <laughs> she went from litigation lawyer and stay-at-home mom of three to stand-up comedian selling out clubs across the country after her hilarious TikTok videos went viral. But that's not even the best part of the story. Tam fam, it was Zarna's daughter, her teenage daughter, Zoya, who came up with the idea that she should pursue a stand-up comedy career. And Zoya said she wanted to give her mother the strength to put herself first and take a chance. And joining me now is Zoya, Zarna's daughter. Thank you so much for being here. I know how proud you are of your mom. But most teenagers at this time are embarrassed and rolling their <laughs> eyes when their mom's telling jokes or things are funny. You said, no, 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 there's something more here. No, this is so surreal that we're here now. Thank you so much for having us. Oh my God, of course. <laughs> I know that you took, you know, she was on the fence, but you took matters into your own hands. What did you do? So essentially for her birthday two and a half years ago, um, she had just started talking to me about how she was really nervous about getting into a new career, getting back into the workforce. She was coming up with all these ideas, like a toothpaste company and like going back to lawyer, like dating service. I mean, all of it. She came up with every idea. And I felt like the idea was right in front of her face the whole time. I was like, mom, you are so funny. Why don't you try stand-up comedy? Oh. And she was like, that's not a job. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, it is a job. We watch stand-up comedy all the time. And she was like, no, lawyers are a job, doctors are a job. So I was so convinced that she could be a comedian. Um, and so for her birthday, I you know, wrote her 146 handwritten notes, basically expressing um, from all of her friends and family that all echoed that she was just so funny and she was ready to take on the stage. And now here we are today. <laughs> I know that. Zoya, the New York Times published part of what you wrote to your mom in a series that they call From the Heart to Higher Education. And you talked about, I have a bit of it to share. I want to read it off the screen here. You wrote, she could make anyone laugh and I wanted her to be paid for it. Mom, have you ever thought about being a stand-up comedian? As she began dreaming of a comedy career, the reality of her current life as a stay-at-home mom sank in and she began to cry and told me it was too late for her. I could not bear to watch her struggle between ambition and doubt. You're crying now. See, we went from laughing to crying <laughs> together. And it's so expensive to fix eye makeup. <laughs> Yeah. But it's still touching. It's, you. I can't believe. Yeah, I, w I really thought I would never come out from under being a stay-at-home mom for that long. I felt like the world had moved on so much that I was archaic. I've, like, I. Like, I. That's very vulnerable of you to talk about because I have a lot of friends that once the kids get older, obviously they are your life. Yeah. And then at some point, you want your birds to fly. Yeah. And they start to leave the house, and you have that moment of, well, what do I do now? Right. And you were at that moment. Right. And thank God, you know, I had her and my son, my other son, my Indian woman, lots of kids. Son, <laughs> the other son, the third son, the fourth son. <laughs> thank God for that. Well, she also wrote, for many parents, their children's careers are the greatest accomplishment. But for me, my mom's is mine. Wow. What is that? <laughs> Zoya, what did it mean to see her walk out on that comedy stage? It took some time. She got around to it a couple of months, and there she was. What did it feel like to see her walk out on stage for the first time? So when she was finally on stage and people were laughing with her, I was like, this was just always meant to be. And it just felt like, you know. I love this. <laughs> okay, so you take a one-hour comedy special that will be streaming worldwide. You have a feature film and a scripted series in the works. Um, for people out there, because I said it's my birthday, and you know you reflect on life and dreams and, and taking chances, what words of encouragement would you offer to people? I would say that if we all believe that we're living in a, in a time which is social media obsessed, people seem very self-obsessed, I'm empowered by that. 
We can take as many chances and fail and fall. Nobody cares. Yeah. It took a few tries to find the right thing. Yeah. But who cares? Yeah. So I tell everybody, whatever wild idea you have in your mind, what do you really lose by trying it? Yes. I love that. I love it. You know what? It's like that saying, it's so crazy, it just might be a success. Yeah. That's the point. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you for inspiring your mom to dream. I love it. We're going to be right back. Zon is going to be with us a little later. Up next, Aaron McGuire has been holding down multiple odd jobs like dog walking, staging a performance on roller skates to the village people. What? She's even had to struggle to pay bills all in pursuit of her dream, becoming a full-time comedian. That was her dream, and we're going to give her a chance to live out her wildest dream. She's going to perform on national TV and before the Tampa for the very first time. It is Tamron's Golden Comedy Hour. Don't go away.